Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. We are looking at my first ever rotor that could uh, support the big magnets, kind of. So we got our little base magnet and we got the big magnet kind of magnetically glued to it. I'm going to give it 2 volts and give it a whirl. So this is typical. What's going on here is we got four magnets that are big enough to be affecting the copper at 90 degrees. So this is your uh, four magnet rotor at 2.15 and this will go between 0 and Some pretty good speed. This is my one the first rotor that I that I made, like I said, it is very smooth. Just the magnets on the outside are a little, a little off. It's been redone so many times. I don't know understand like how it's still able to hold everything together the way it does. So 3.5 volts. Heck yeah, this baby's whipping. So let me explain the drive coil just for a second. Uh, you have four strands of 24 gauge, four strands of 26 gauge, and two strands of 30 gauge. And they are all hooked up to their own transistors right now. There are 10 transistors hooked up. And it's adding up to be like quite a, not as many amps as I thought it would be. This is awesome. This is a 3.5 in. We're drawing 0.2 milliamps now. It's got a maglev just kind of floating there. Don't want to go too fast because those magnets are just chilling there basically. It's awesome. Truly awesome. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Bye now.